Good morning, my sister and my brother, Bridget Worry here, trusting that you are doing well. Well, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Let me get my other glasses, I can see all the glare. Hold on. This one kind of keep it down because I have this uh, tint in, in the glass. So it's a little bit better. So here we go. So how are you? Trusting that you are doing well, my sister and brother. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Well, let us get into our topic today. And my devotion, oh, there goes my Bible. Devotion is to be like Jesus by Ellen G. White. So hold on. Let me get my book here. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer and then... We're going to get into our topic. Father God, I thank you, thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so scripture reading is coming from John 7, verses 17. John 7, verses 17. John 7 verses 17 and it reads if any man will do his will he shall know of the doctrine whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself may the Lord add the blessing to the reading hearing and the doing of his words Father God, as we go into this topic, Father God, I ask you, Father God, to open our hearts and our mind to receive this information. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My sister and brother, we need the Holy Spirit like we've never needed it before. With all the trials and tribulation that's going on, with everything's going on around us, we have to have the Holy Spirit to intercede on our behalf. And so I don't have my marker, but let us let me get started. Anyhow, I have one in this book here. I was studying just a minute ago, and I believe I left it on the table. Hold on here. Let me get this one. And then leave this open. Something got in my eyes. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. And this is prayer helps guide to truth. Prayer helps guide to truth. And it state here, Jesus went, and no, before, Jesus went forth to his final conflict with the power of darkness. He lifted up his eyes to heaven and prayed for his disciples. The burden of Jesus' request was that those who believe on him might be kept from the evil of the world and sanctified through the truth. He does not leave us to vague surmising as to what the truth is, but added, Thy word is truth. The word of God is the means by which our sanctification is to be accomplished. It is of the greatest importance then that we acquaint ourselves with the sacred instructions of the Bible. It is as necessary for us to understand the words of life as it was for the early disciples to be informed concerning the plan of salvation. We shall be inexcusable if, through our own ne negligence, we are ignorant of the claims of God's word. God has given us his word, the revelation of his will, and has promised the Holy Spirit to them that ask him to guide them into all truth and every soul who honestly desire to do the will of God shall know of the doctrines. Since the time when the Son of God, let me go back, since the time when the Son of God God breast. Let me go back here. So since the time when the Son of God breast the hasty, the hasty prejudiced, meaning the proud, the ignorant prejudice and unbelief of humankind, 
there had been no change in the attitude of the world towards the religion of Jesus. Let me repeat. Since the time when the Son of God breast the proud prejudice and unbelief of humankind, there had been no change in the attitude of the world towards the religion of Jesus. The servant of Christ must meet the same spirit of opposition and reproach and must go without the camp bearing his reproach. And reproach mean uh, disapproval or being uh, being rebu rebuked. And it stayed here. His, this Jesus teaching was plain. His Jesus teaching was plain, clear, and comprehensive. The practical truth he uttered had a convincing power and rested and arrested the attention of the people. The practical truth he uttered had a convincing power and arrested the attention of the people. Multitude linger at his side, marveling at his wisdom. His manner come let me go back. His manner corresponded with the great truth he proclaimed. There was no apology, no hesitancy, not the shadow of a doubt or uncertainty, or uncertainty that it might be other than he declared. Let me repeat that. There was no apology, no hesitancy, not the shadow of a doubt or uncertainty that it might be other than he declared. He spoke of the earthly and the heavenly, of the human and divine, with positive authority, and the people were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. It is a matter of the highest importance and interest to us that we understand what the truth is, and, and our petition should go forth with the intense earnestness that we may be guided into all truth. Let me repeat that. It is the matter of highest importance and interest to us that we understand what the truth is, and our petition should go forth with the intense earnestness that we may be guided into all truth. When we talk about the truth, my sister and brother, we're talking about the truth as it is in Jesus. So you can go ahead and look at uh, 2 Peter 1, chapter 2, I mean, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 12, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 16. And then I'm going to read in your hearing uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. 2 Timothy, no, 2 Test, no, I'm sorry, 2 Thessalonians, I'm sorry, 2 Thessalonians, I had it marked here, 2 Thessalonians, because I was reading Timothy earlier, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11, and it says here, with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So my sister and brother, God has given us everything possible in order to save us. But if you want to believe a lie, God is going to leave you alone. If you want to believe the truth, God is going to send more truth to you. And for those of you that are not studying the word, my sister and brother, you must study the word of God for yourself. Not listening to what I'm saying. I give you guys the scripture reading. I give you the books that I'm getting my information from. So don't take my word for it. Go ahead and do your own due diligence and study the word for yourself. I know a lot of people go to church and they listen to this, they listen to that, but they never really take notes and go back home and do their own um, studies. We have to study the word for ourselves because this is what we were going to be based on. 
everything is based on the word of God, my sister and brother. So if you are stating so and so is deceiving me, it's because that's what you want to be. That's what you want to happen to you. Because God said, my sister, we have to study the word. My brother, we have to study for the word for ourselves. Because God is looking for you and I to go and proclaim the last message to a dying world. So how can you proclaim a message to a dying world when you yourself have not study and not only study remember i said we have to be hearers of the word but we always have to be doers of the word so we have to be the one to set the example the right example a lot of people say well i don't go to church because of this and that and so and so said this to me and so and so my sister my brother you are not there for those people you are there to hear the word of god and once you hear it you need to go ahead and apply it to your life and then if that is not the place that you need to be, then you need to find another uh, church that is standing on all of the doctrines of God. Yes, we go to church. Church is a hospital. People in there have different, let me say, different reasons why they're there. But you are not there for them. You are there because God sent you there. God sent you there. And if that is not the place, then you need to find yourself another church that is standing on the promises of God, that's reading the word of God, that's going by the truth as, it's, as it is in Jesus. But if you're not searching and you say, well, you know what, back in the day, my grandmama went to this church and I'm going to be at this church and I'm going to stay here. And you know that that church is not speaking the truth. So God is going to hold you accountable for that. And your grandmother maybe have not even had an opportunity to hear the truth as it is in Jesus. So God is going to base her life story based on what she knew. Does that make sense? So even though some people are in are not following the whole guideline of the Bible, but if the what they knew, what they know about it, they follow that, that is what God is going to base their life. But you and I have so much um, information right now. We can just go to Uncle Google and Google anything we want and you can find the truth. But even sometime when you're looking for the truth, you have to go outside of some of those places to find the truth because a lot of truth right now is covered up. Okay, so you have to go do, uh, you got to go deep deeper, deeper. And God will lead you, my sister and brother. God send you the right individual in your life. Just ask him to send the right individual if you are looking for the truth as it is in Jesus, my sister and brother. Okay. So we're talking about the individuals that, that are claiming and living by the whole Bible truth. God says, if you love me, keep my commandment. Those individuals that are keeping all of God's commandment. Most churches keep nine of the commandments, nine, and they forget the one. And that the one is the fourth commandment. God said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It's Sabbath always been Saturday. It was never, never Sunday. So you need to go to Uncle Google and Google who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. And that's a system. I'm not talking about a people. I'm talking about a system that Satan is using to do his bidding. So my sister and brother, let us continue to search the scripture for ourselves. Get ready, get ready. Jesus is coming soon. I should state ready or not he is coming soon let us bow for prayer father god i thank you thank you thank you for this message thank you for my sister my brother that stopped by here today father god if we if i had said anything that it was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight father god actually to wash me wash us and make us whiter than snow and once you've done that father god we give you permission to use us to mold us to shape us father god into what you want us to be and father god we forever give you all the praise the honor and glory. And we thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so this is Birda Warrior. Find me at BirdaWarrior.com. Follow me over YouTube. While you're there, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. So when my video goes up, you'll be the first to be notified. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. But before you go, let us do the four hugs. Four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Thank you, my sister and brother. I love you. I appreciate you. Oh, tomorrow is Wednesday. So I'll be here extremely early tomorrow. I'm thinking about, mm, about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah. So I have, um, I got some, um, so, so much to do tomorrow. So I'll be here 7.30 in the morning. 
So with that, my sister and brother, I love you. appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.